Today we're going to be talking about geometric sequences for the second day. So before we get started, we actually want to look back at what our general formula is for any geometric sequence. So we're going to have a of n equals a times r all to the n minus 1. And we can even put that n minus 1 in parentheses if we want. Um, so there is going to be our formula. A of n is just the nth term, whatever that term may be that we're trying to find. A is the first term in the sequence, r is the common ratio, and then n is the term number that we're trying to find. So if they give us this equation, we are going to be finding the second, fourth, and fifth terms for a of n equals 3 times 4 to the n minus 1 power. And you're going to notice here, um, actually in both of these questions, that that r value, that common ratio value, is in parentheses just like it was um, when it was the common difference from arithmetic sequences. So for this, if we're finding the second, fourth, and fifth terms, so if we're finding the second term, that means that our n value is going to be equal to 2. So we're using this formula and we're plugging in 2 everywhere we see an n. So we're going to have a of 2 equals 3 times 4. We see an n again, so we're plugging in that value of 2 minus 1. And this is going in parentheses. Now, you can type this in exactly as it looks from this side of the equal sign over, from the 3 over, or you can actually do this math in your head of this parentheses first, which oftentimes will make it be easier for you. So if we start typing in this in, we have 3 times parentheses 4, and then to get to the exponent that's not a squared, you're going to hit this a to the b power. It's going to go up to the exponent there. And doing this math already, 2 minus 1 is 1. So that gives us our answer of this. The second term is going to be 12. Now we're going to do that same stuff again, but deal with finding the fourth term. So if we're finding the fourth term, now we know that our n value, we're finding the fourth term, our n value is 4. We're using that same formula again, but we're going to plug in 4 everywhere we see an n. So a of 4 equals 3 times 4 to the 4 minus 1 power. That's to the n minus 1 power, so 4 minus 1. And again, we can already have this in our calculator, so all we need to change is get rid of that 1 exponent, and 4 minus 1 is 3. And that gives us that the fourth term here is 192. Now, you could, if you wanted to, uh, not do this one step in your head. And if you're doing this in Desmos that way, you do have to put parentheses around the 4 minus 1 in the numerator for it to give you the correct answer. If you don't, then it's not going to give you the correct answer. It's going to think that you only want 4 to the 4th power, and then it will subtract 1 afterwards. So we're going to do the last piece here of finding the fifth term. So I'm just going to move the calculator over. So if we're finding the fifth term, that means now that n would equal 5. So our same formula stays, but we're replacing n with 5 now. Okay, and so if we have this in the calculator, we can even just go back over here and change that 4 to be a 5. Or you could also just do that math in your head, 5 minus 1 is 4, so you could make that 4 to be just the 4th power. And so then that means that our answer here for the 5th term is 768. We're going to do that exact same thing just with another um, equation here, okay, another example. So we're still going to find the second, fourth, and fifth terms, but now we're going to be dealing with the formula a of n equals 0 0.1 times 1 half to the n minus 1 power. So I'm going to clear all of this out here. So if we're finding the second term, that means that our n value would be equal to 2. Plugging that in, we have a of 2 equals 0 0.1 times... 1 half, a lot of times you're going to see 1 half written more like this as a fraction, to the 2 minus 1 power. 
So if we plug that into Desmos, we have 0 0.1 times that one half is going to go in parentheses. And then it's going to go to the 2 minus 1 is just first power. So we're going to have that. And that tells us that our second term here is 0 0.05 or 5 hundredths. Moving on to the fourth term. Oh, whoops, the fourth term. If we want the fourth term, we know that n should equal 4. So we're going to plug in 4 everywhere we see an n in this equation. And you are going to want to write down your equation like this, show us your work of what you're doing. And then from there, you can just type into the calculator. But this allows me to know that you actually know what the heck you're doing in this process. So I'm going to go and change that exponent of 1 before, and 4 minus 1 is 3. So I'm going to make it to be to the third power. And so that means that we have 0 0.0125 as our answer. And we're going to write down these whole decimals of things. We're not going to round them at all as we go. So I'll move our calculator up here for this last one. So we have enough space. If we're finding the fifth term, like it said in the directions, then n would equal 5. And we're plugging into that same formula. Again, we're going back to that same formula they gave us to begin with. But everywhere we see an n, we're going to plug in 5. That means when we do this math, we're going to go back into what we had in Desmos already. Do one quick change in the exponent before we had 3. Now we're taking 5 minus 1, and that's 4. And so then our answer is 0 0.00625 is our answer for that. So this is just do you understand what the notation is asking and what you're supposed to do with it. So again, it's going to give you the different term numbers that it wants you to find. That's your end value. Plug it into the formula and go from there. Now, that's what you're going to do if they give you the formula already. They may not give you the formula. They may give you the information about the formula. So here's the other type of question we're going to look at. It says to write the rule and find the given term. So there's two things we have to do. First thing we have to do is write the rule based on the information they give us. The second thing is to find the given term that they ask for. So in this first one we're going to do, it says find the fifth term. Find the fifth term where the first term is negative 2 and the common ratio is 6. So I don't care about the term number that I'm supposed to be finding yet. We've got to write the general rule first. So the first thing we have to do is write the general rule. That's always going to be a of n equals the first term. Well, they told us that the first term was negative 2 times the common ratio, which they told us was 6. And we're going to put the common ratio in parentheses. And that's always to the n minus 1 power. That's your general rule for this sequence, no matter what term you're trying to find. The second part of this is to find the specific term that they asked for, and that's the fifth term. So if they're asking for the fifth term, that tells us that n is going to equal 5. And now that we know that n equals 5, we're going to plug that information in. So a of 5 equals negative 2 times 6 to the 5 minus 1 power. And this is where we can type in. Remember, you're not typing in this a of 5 part. You're just typing in everything else. And I'm going to do the 5 minus 1 power already in my head. 5 minus 1 is 4. And so that tells us that the fifth term in the sequence is negative 2,592. That's the only term they ask for in this part. So here are your two answers. The general rule, no matter what term they're asking for, and then that very specific term that they asked for, which was the fifth term. All right, let's look at one more like this. Again, we're going to have two things to do. The first thing is to write the rule, and then the second thing is to fi um, find the, the 15th term for this one. So we're finding the 15th term, the 15th term, 
when the first term is 5 and the common ratio is negative 2. First thing, write our formula. Every single geometric formula starts off with a of n equals the first term, which was 5, times the common ratio, and the common ratio, no matter if it's positive or negative, should be in parentheses, to the n minus 1 power. So that's the first part of our answer, is to write the rule. The second part is to find the specific term number that they asked for. In this case, they asked for the 15th term. If they ask for the 15th term, that means that n is going to equal 15. We're going to plug that information in to actually calculate out what the 15th term is. So again, that just means that anywhere we see an n, we're going to plug in a 15. And let's bring in our calculator here. So we have 5 times that negative 2, which was our first, or was our common ratio to the 15 minus 1 is 14th power, and so that tells us that 81,920 is the 15th term in this sequence.